Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to adjust exposure on Facecam Neo from Elgato. So as you can see in the camera hub, um, we have the exposure tab and there's quite a few settings. So I'm gonna try to explain all of them the best as, as I can. So at first you can see there is the automatic exposure and I'm a bit overexposed in it. So um, while keeping the automatic exposure, if you don't want to change it, if you don't want to like mess around with manual one, um, because automatic is great if your um, lighting conditions are changing, if you're exposed to some daylight, for example, and you know, daylight can change um, and automatic exposure will deal with that. But if you're overexposed like me, then you can simply change the brightness and it's pretty difficult to change that brightness because even 1% of change may sometimes make the image uh, like much darker. So let's try to set it to 49. You can see 49 isn't yet um, good for me, but like 46, 47, I think it's great, maybe a bit too dark. Um, so let's try that 48 and now it's too bright I would think but you can also change the metering and this is also pretty important you can change it set it to average so the average will check the um, the average all like of like the whole image and uh, base the automatic exposure on that center weight is of course like you know what's in the center i guess so if i move out um or spot and spot uh spot is actually i think like looking at a certain spot like for example on my face or just basically in the center i believe um, and adjust the brightness based on that and the center weight is i think just trying to find like the best um, setting um, based on like both the average and the spot uh, but um, none of these settings um, satisfy me honestly besides the spot i think the spot is quite great but you can see if i move this changes pretty quickly so what to do if you want to set it to not automatic then if you disable automatic you can adjust the shutter speed and iso yourself and there are a few important factors so um, shutter speed if set to something too high will not only make your picture brighter of course but you may want it in some worse lighting conditions um, but you can see that it may make some um, movements blurred out and if you set it to a lower value then it's a bit sharper and crisper so it's just important to know that then iso will also increase your brightness but may increase graininess so you just m may perceive your image as more grainy let's try to set the shutter speed to as low as i can and the iso to something higher and you can see there is some distortion so i would highly recommend setting iso to as low as you can of course in some scenarios you can't set it to 100 mm, percent but mm, if you can then you should lower it and uh, try uh, just setting shutter speed to something higher uh, but of course it just depends on how the image looks because if it's too if it has too much blur or low frame rate if you're experiencing that low frame rate then you may want to set the shutter speed to something lower as well and i think that this image is now good enough i like it you can also adjust the dynamic range to standard wide or wide or high but high is only available in like um 30 fps mode because you can ch change the preview format here so i can set it to wide or standard and 
it's just like the standard dynamic range is SDR, wide dynamic range is WDR and high is HDR. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.